Hello, I'd like to speak with your manager, please. Okay, can I ask what is her name? Who is it from? Yeah, I want to talk about the discrimination that's taking place here. I want to talk about the fact that I just went to the restaurant downstairs mm -hmm. and to the market, and they made a big deal for us not having a mask on, but there's several white people that don't have masks on that nobody said anything to. Nobody here wears masks and most of the staff doesn't. So I wanna understand why it was a huge uproar that I didn't have a mask on in a room full of people that didn't have them on. They said they wouldn't serve me. They said they wouldn't they serve me. They said they me. wouldn't serve me if I don't put the mask on after they serve other individuals that didn't come in there with the mask. After so my thing here, is, if it's, going, if it's going to be a policy, then it's going to be a policy. I'm not wearing no damn mask if other people aren't wearing masks. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then the, and then the young lady going to say, don't, don't disrespect me. Don't talk to me like that. Nobody disrespected anybody. Yeah, but I have more than, more importantly, I have an issue with the way the lady handled the situation. I don't appreciate after spending thousands of dollars at this hotel for someone when I was speaking in a very calm tone, very calm manner, for her to, to part her lips and say, don't get disrespectful. I'm grown as hell. I don't know who the fuck she thought she was talking to. So I want to speak to the manager that's on duty right now. And if it's a problem, I'm going to come downstairs. Give me one second. Thanks. I spend more money in this hotel than anyone that's here, so. I'm just trying to get some water on the in and out. There was people waiting for a pizza that they told me take 15, 20 minutes with no mask on the entire time. Fuck you, bitch. Good evening, for all three, just speaking, I'm at you. What's your name again? Jesse. Jesse. Okay. And what's your title? Are you the manager here? Are you the manager on duty? Yes, I'm the manager on duty and I'm the manager here. Okay, great. So I'm really dissatisfied after spending thousands of dollars. Um, at this point, we've probably been here about seven days. I don't appreciate the way that the ladies in the market dealt with me just now i came downstairs to check out get some water the entire time that i've been here half the staff has been wearing masks half the staff has not most of the guests here are not wearing masks i just got on the elevator with someone who did not have a mask on and was smoking in the elevator so my concern is i definitely don't appreciate the way that, that the lady at the desk was speaking with me telling me that i need to not disrespect her I'm grown as hell. I don't appreciate the way she just spoke to me. Most importantly, the market is full of a bunch of white people standing in there with no mask and nobody said anything to them, but they refused to serve me because I didn't have a mask on when nobody in there had a mask on. Nobody wants to make it about white and black, but that's exactly what it is. What is your number, man? So that way I know what you got with. My room number? 21225. And your last name is? Nabugu. Nabugu, oh, okay. And you've been here, yeah, you're here for six nights, you've been on a Wednesday. Um, again, I do apologize. I mean, so they never serve you at home? What's that? They never serve you what you wanted? No, no, because they, they started arguing me. with me. They didn't serve me, but, but they served other individuals that were in there for well over 15 minutes with no mask, and they didn't serve me, and all I want to do is get some water for my kid. No, they didn't serve me. The only thing you need is just the water. I was, I was, it was a quick in and out. And it's folks in there sitting there politicking with no mask and they didn't tell them to leave. You lucky I'm not down there right now. Yeah, so this is to top it off. I'm, I'm dissatisfied with the, with multiple things. Um, several things the cleanliness lots of it so this was just the top off this was just the top of it you guys have messages everywhere that says if you're not happy let us know um yeah so i'm not happy i'd like to see what you guys are gonna do about it no i'm not happy it's been a lot of stuff we've been holding our tongue about we had we had a 
we had um, the people that were staying in the suite next to us yesterday fighting, and then it took an hour for security to come up, waking my kid up out her, out her nap, and then nothing happens but they just leave and nothing happens. And it's dirty in the hallway, it's dirty in the bathroom. I do apologize for that. I mean, I didn't give me one second. So first, let me go ahead and make sure you guys get some water. I can, uh, let me send some water to you, okay? I'm gonna do that first, because you guys went there for the water and they didn't provide the water, and, and I'm gonna deal with them after, but first let me fix, let me make sure you guys okay for the night before I, I go back there to, to, uh, to the market. Okay, thank you. We were gonna buy four waters. How many bottle water would you guys like? Four, please. Four bottle water. Order. If there's anything else you guys wanted for tonight, to be mm. delivered to your home. No, thank you. Okay. And again, for I, I do apologize. So you mentioned the cleaning list. What was wrong with the room regarding the cleaning list issue? Yeah, the room is not dirty. We asked. I mean, the room is not clean. We asked for full service. The bathroom wasn't clean to begin with when we checked in. We've just not really addressed it. And housekeeping didn't even clean it when they came in here today. It smells like sewage. I apologize for that, and now uh, it looks like my house day looks like again tomorrow we will be with service in your own tomorrow. So I'm going to get with the housekeeping so we can do a VIP service in your own tomorrow. That definitely will be done. Because I think, because what's happening is they're lazy. They keep coming and asking, are we checking out? And we're not checking out. We called in advance to, you know, for each day for the cleaning because we know the policy says 24 hours in advance, yes. etc. So they'll come to the door and knock and, and ask, are we checking out? And no, I'm not checking out. And I don't want to confirm that I'm checking out every single afternoon. I want you to come and clean my room. So then what happens is they come they come in and we, this is probably one of the last ones that they do. And it's, it's a rush job. And I'm not excited about that. I'm not excited about anything in this establishment right now because honestly, I could be down there right now because I know that shit gonna happen tomorrow as far as the discrimination that just took place. I could be down there right now because I know it could happen tomorrow. So I wanna know what's gonna go ahead. As a matter of fact, the, the young lady that wanted to argue with me just now, she served me on Thursday at the taco stand with no mask on. So you can understand, I'm sure you can understand that the frustration is Pick one. Be consistent. Either we're gonna ma wear masks here or we're not. Card, card, card. Again, I, I do apologize. I'm gonna get with um, my team in terms of management team, so that way we can make sure, like you mentioned, if we're gonna select one, and we select one, and we make sure we enforce it, and we make sure everyone follows it versus half of the persons are following it and the other half aren't following it. So that's gonna get fixed. Again, I'm gonna get with my team to get that fixed. Um, again, I do apologize for the inconvenience for the experience so far. Um, okay. What I'm gonna do also, that's the next step tomorrow. Again, I will VIP service your home. The first one was water that will be delivered to your home. And the third thing I will do for you guys, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and take one night off for you. Okay. And then also you will, um, I can see that you set up, you want your home to be serviced on Tuesday as well, Monday, Tuesday, and you leave it on Wednesday. Yes. Okay. Also, we will service that home for you also on Tuesday. And any specific time where would you, you like the home to be serviced? Uh, noon. Noon, 12 would be good. Because I heard him, he said it was a little bit too late today, so we want to make sure we fix that as well. Before noon, tomorrow, and also on Tuesday. Again, I do apologize. Is there anything else I can do for you guys tonight? No, no, I appreciate it. Thank you. So when you, so when the balance adjusts, it's going to take off one night. Yes, correct. I'm going to take one night off for you. So okay. you are here for six nights, so you'll be going for five nights instead of six nights. 
Okay, I appreciate that. Again, you guys, he's for two more now. My name is Jersey. If anything you ever need, you can call and ask for me, okay? Okay, thank the, you. The water will be there shortly. Okay, great. Thank, thank you. you. So much. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. What time is it right now? 9.54. You know I'm trying to do all that. That just pissed me <laughs> off. Here's my thing about the mask. Like, we, we, we had a conversation, and we said, you know, we would rather just, you know, we know what, we know what the rules are. Um, but here, because, you know, I know that people that are watching, it's different in every single city. Some We've been to cities where it's like you have to wear your mask, and it's like a thing. Um, what was I going to say? And some places, like Atlanta, nobody wears masks in Atlanta. It doesn't, it's not even a thing. Like, if you wear a mask in Atlanta, you look goofy. And that's basically what it's been like here. 80% of the people don't wear masks. And um, the issue here is I don't appreciate anyone in a customer service establishment telling me that I need to respect them no no you're not going to tell me that i need to respect you if you want no 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 and i'm not you know i'm not going to say anything not nice because i don't want to say not nice things that's not what i'm here to do um i definitely don't appreciate like literally i don't appreciate them first of all hand they literally just handing going like this like putting masks in your hand and going like this no thank you i'm not about to put a mask on my face and you've been taking all these people money <laughs> And all these people cars, no one washing their hands, no one's using hand sanitizers in between. No. It's the group of five white people standing there with no masks on, smiling at us as we get profiled and as we get reprimanded for doing the same exact thing that they're doing and literally harassing us saying, I can't serve you without a mask, yet they're standing here with their order taking place. They had to have a conversation. So so, so what's the difference? What's the difference? Because you won't say anything to a white person. I can go back downstairs right now off of that. The difference is you won't say anything to them because you're a pussy ass. You're a pussy ass hoe. And that's why you won't say anything to them about not having a mask on because you feel like they're uppity and they've got more, they've got money and all of this. Bitch, I, I, I spent more to be here than everybody, than everybody here. These people are here for a weekend. I'm here. I'm here until Wednesday because we're going to LA. That's why we don't get too comfortable. That's why we don't get too comfortable anywhere that we are. We're always ready for the next move. So. Yeah, that was whack. And if you white, I'm sorry. Y'all know that should be wild as fuck. Sorry, not fucking sorry. Shit was whack. And yeah, I could have just put my mask on because that is what it is that we talked about or whatever the case may be, but not I just couldn't. Right next to I just me. couldn't. I just had to stand up for myself and not with not with other people. Not with more than 50% of the people in there with no mask and smirking, looking at what am I going to do next. Right. Right, like it, like it's a TV show, but guess what? It is a TV show on OurRoyalThrone.com. See, here's the thing. I get paid for all of my inconveniences. Oh, I get, so it's easy to come up at night. Yes, I get paid for all of my inconveniences. You want to know why? Because I'm going to get on here, and I'm going to cut the camera on, and I'm going to get paid for sharing about my experience. I'm not leaving here without rooms comped. I'm not leaving here with exact without exactly what I asked for and what the issue is. Because the thing is, <laughs> I was looking to see if there's anything worthwhile in the comments. Sis, I will buy this hotel and you won't have a job. Yeah. How about is, respect for that? Yeah, the reality is, don't even really be wanting to pop our shit like that, but. Yeah, the thing is, in this particular situation, we weren't, like, I'm really chill today. Like, I'm really chill. I'm really low-key today. Um, I was going to go. I had it for whoever. I had it for whoever. They lucky one on men at the, at the front. I mean, if we would have got some gas before that encounter, I probably could have handled it a little bit better. Would have still about, had it for whoever. Yeah. What about, still, huh? What were you saying about the men at the front? 
I'm saying, like, if it, we would have been going toe to toe if he was a man at the front. If he didn't handle it the way that he did, I was going to go back downstairs. If he didn't handle it the way that he did just now, he handled it the way that we desire people to handle customer service issues. Apologize, offer a solution. You know, he did exactly what I what I want people to do. It's it's just It doesn't solve the fact like now I don't want y'all breakfast no more. Cause okay. now I don't want to deal with you. No, I'm not going in there. To me, I think what what I can really identify, okay, let's let's just learn from it. What I can identify, what upset me about this situation, what upset me about the, the encounter that we just had was the fact that this group of people were standing there doing the same exact thing that we were doing. They actually were in there first. They were in there because how we move is if we walk into the party and nobody has their masks on, we don't put ours on. If we walk into the party and everybody has their masks on, we'll put our masks on. And it's the fact that we walked into the party and the group of people next to us were chilling, waiting for their pizza with no masks on, and the ladies behind the counter. I, I don't know what it is about Miami. I got it. I mean, about about Florida. Mm -hmm. These these Spanish people got smoke for me. <laughs> oh, because they'd be like, well, she's not black, so. So I'm just gonna have smoke. Period. She it's looks, just. She looks like she one of us. It's honestly just the fact that they literally wanted to go toe to toe tell me they weren't gonna serve me after serving somebody else. And literally, it's, you know when you part your lips and you say, don't disrespect me, sis, you about to. Should've walked out that damn water, but then they was going act like I was stealing. Act like the black people were in there stealing stitch. water when we I'm really get it for you. free. We get the water for free, so. I'm just gonna keep calling and not texting back. Are you gonna serve it or not? Just be calm if you're in No, I'm not talking about bro. I'm talking about the other guy that I met um, <laughs> on this joint. You know, we're going to bro, LA straight, because. I'm trying to get with his folks, for real. What about... that hit me on here? <laughs> what about the guy? Oh, oh yeah. I was going to say, what straight. If... The other guy's calling me. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Black child. <laughs> Black child. Black child. <laughs> so okay, he's calling it's you. It's been five minutes. There's no water. Yeah, my hubby is bad and bougie. I mean, I got it from you. I, I mean, like I'm just I mean, playing. let me not even say I got it from you. I've had multiple hotel experiences where I always be like, it's cool, and it's not fucking cool no more. I think we're just really beyond over hotel living at this point. When we when we're over something, we're big over it. Like, we made a decision today. We just over it. <laughs> Again. Was that the door? Mm-hmm. One sec. <laughs> Did they throw in some candy or something? I said, did they throw in some candy or something? Nah, you already did. You're just throwing hella cookies. I don't even like Ooh! Them. I do. Pass them right over here. What do you want to see what they pulled up with? <laughs> they tried to all it up. Y'all, if I can just tell you the truth, I just be starting beef for the cookies. I just call down there and cuss them out so I can get some cookies. <laughs> it's like, I'm just kidding. I'm really just kidding. I, ho I hope you guys know my sense of humor. That was the kind of, you know, just a really good the I always will have the beef at the spot and be like, it's okay, I don't gotta say nothing. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And I think the place I'm operating from now is like the explosion of doing that after so many months and it's not okay. And I need what I need right now the same way you needed that bread right, right now. Right now. Y'all needed that bread at 11 a.m. A shift change. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's fair to say after doing hotel living for about four months and dealing with complete nonsense. Mm. Well, shout out 
to the water, being somewhere that's like a tourist drain, water be like ten dollars a bottle. Hmm. I'll be honest, Dad really do like the way he handled that. Despite the fact that we're not just thrilled here, I mean, it's only so happy you can be in an old ass hotel. It's only so happy you can be. But there's only so much cleaning they can do. That makes sense. But they new though. I mean, it's not old though. Old is relative when you look at the way it's promoted now in the suites and the in the way it looked like on the joint, which is why he booked it. See, this is why I just gotta keep it low key. Like I can't have those types of interactions because they trigger headaches for me. So no, you can't do that to me. That was very distasteful of them. Yeah, that wasn't cool. That really wasn't cool. Which is the only reason why I had so much for it. Off bucks, it was not cool. And, you know, I don't know. I, I, I must have just tapped into my prove a point button. It's was, okay, though. I was going to let everyone in there know it was not cool. I don't really care. I don't, because it goes back to what I was saying. Like, yeah, we're going to grow from this situation. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I'm, I'm even excited that, like, we're live to, like, even talk, like, as, as we're diffusing it. Because it's like... We're growing often, out loud. Oftentimes, we'll beat ourselves up so hard about the situation, you don't even get to grow from it. You're just too busy beating yourself up and feeling bad about a situation that was really wild as fuck. Yeah, I'm growing. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... It's, it's dope to talk like this because this is the real part. Yeah, I'm growing. This is what we do off yeah, camera. I'm yeah, I'm in personal development. Yeah, all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's clearly opportunities to grow. And one could say that you could have made a decision to comply. But I mean, honestly, when I, when I thought hot, long and hard about complying, and then I, I kind of grossed myself out when I was thinking about her hands on the mask. Right, I'm that not doing that. Put on my face. And, I'm not doing I'm that. Not doing that. I'm not, not doing putting that. a funky ass, dirty ass mask on my face that came from who knows where. That's how they I'm not the putting your funky ass mask on my face when this dude just got off the elevator sparking with his mask down here. And it's no more free clout for the hotels. Yeah, they gotta pay me. I'm never pay. saying a hotel's I'm name. Not tagging shit as far as like how we would be like we stayed here and just happened. We only Man, the yeah, only no reason the only reason we ever did that was for our personal like SEO. The only reason that we ever put any hotel's name is strictly for SEO because it pays us. It pays us even when the hotel doesn't pay us. That's the only reason why. Because I had already said I'm not tagging these hotels. And here's the, here's the thing. I used to be so like, I really just want Hilton to sponsor us. Or I really want Marriott to sponsor us. I don't want anyone to... I... I pause. Be careful with what I'm creating. I only want to do partnerships and sponsorships with companies that are in alignment with my brand. That are in alignment with you know, our lifestyle. And the exciting part is 17 income streams in and not one of them has any say so in what I do and what I say. Now you can go, go into a whole nother tangent of nobody can have control over what I say and what I do. But I mean, I mean, it, it it definitely is good because this is the conversation that we have off the radar. This is the this is the conversation that we have when we basically come and give you guys the report of the customer service issues that we deal with and how we grew from it. And then we come back and we tell you guys this is what we did, this is what happened, and this is what we learned from it. And this is how we grew from it. But how we grow? Unbrand that. <laughs> Somebody get my guy some gassy poo. Yeah, I'm some gas. <laughs> ain't paying neither. Right, I feel All you. All in the frame. 
I'm about to start editing our videos and blurring everything out. <laughs> That's how it was when we were when we were eating dinner, and um, the wine was right there. And he was like, "I got the wine right here to set the <laughs> mode." No, you don't move this whack ass bottle. Don't pay me no. You gotta uh, pay me money, 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 yeah. money, 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 money. Nestle. Money, money, this, money, 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 money. I actually did a promo with Nestle before. Money, 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 money. Yeah, and they didn't pay enough money, 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 yeah. money, 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 the only gross that's taking place is... What the fuck? What the fuck? What the... What? What? Just give yourself a second. Just give yourself a second. What did they say when you opened the door? Looking at me like I'm in the wrong room. And I'm looking like, is it about to be a All right, let's look at some flights. All right, well, we might have to make this move to LA sooner than later. At this point, I'm like, I don't know. I'm about to do a meditation or something. I'm about to, I don't know, like, <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You just can't make this up. Like somebody just, somebody just tried to walk into our room. And I had all the right to be popping up like that because that's the sound that sounds like it's about to open the door when, when the housekeeping people keep coming in. Right, because oh, I guess they were just pulling on the door because the key wasn't going to work. Hmm. I'm about to look for flights to LA tonight. Or in the morning. I'm too tired to fly tonight. I'm about to... Y'all want to see when we're about to go? From Orlando to LAX. It's annoying when we get to this point. But if but it's it's blissful discomfort. Are we not going today? Are we not going tomorrow? <laughs> it's blissful dissatisfaction because you can never get too comfortable. You can never get too comfortable, like, oh, it's really nice, like, there's different pools, and there's so many activities. Nah, mm -mm. not in this season. In this season, we just got to be ready for the next move. Because I don't, like, we have to stay in the place of power where we can just go at any point. I don't like getting to a place where I don't want to be somewhere. Because if we really, 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 really want to, we can just get all of these nights back in points and just go somewhere else. I just don't feel like looking for another accommodation. I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to go to another hotel. I don't feel like going and scoping out their service, their lack of cleanliness, like... 
Let me see. Tuesday. What is today? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Oh. Uh, wow. Have you seen this? It's $43 to fly to LA on Wednesday. Hmm. Sounds a little divine. Let's see what they're talking about. Oh, I just hopped on Spirit's website. I'm, you could probably find something even better on... So on Spirit. What'd you say? You're saying that's Spirit? Yeah, I don't know why I just go to Spirit first. I think their interface is just really user-friendly. I will literally do any flight. I will be. I will do a layover for 13 hours. <laughs> you know, it can get to a point with hotel living sometimes where you're like, I would rather just be at the airport until... Let me see. 7 a.m. How long is this stop? One stop. Okay, maybe a two-hour layover. It's interesting when there's all these time changes. I don't know. The way I feel right now, I could just go to the airport. 7 a.m. What is 60? Let me get my calculator so I can calculate these coins. LA on Wednesday. It's 43 at, at noon. We about to get it right now. We about to cop the flight, y'all. Well, let me look at this $43 flight. Oh, it says only two seats left at this price. Okay, well, what about it's nine seats left for the 7 a.m. $60 flight? That's wild. At three o'clock is four thirty-six. It's fifty-one. That's two seats left. Hmm. And I mean, we made our decision. We made our decision. We said we were going. So it's like checkout is on Wednesday, and this flight is at. 7 a.m. I'm with it, babe. I'm sorry. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just it's okay. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just, I'm just soaking it in. Let me think. Oops. I mean, fearless. Fearless life, right? You know, this fearless journey will definitely take you for a spin. The fearless journey, you have to be willing to do things that are, like, you have to be willing to book a flight without even looking at the hotels. And I started, like I actually, I started writing out, I literally started writing out like different hotels that were in the price point that we were looking at. And I mean, I said that I wanted to like take my time. I wanted to take my time, do my research, but <laughs> the fearless journey will challenge you and push you. And sometimes you don't have time. It's like, it's like, try to grab your stuff on the way it's like you just try to man all this time oh i just want to be in la i just want to be in beverly hills you gotta be careful what you wish for everything that you speak be creates if, if you have parted your lips to create something that you don't really want you better cancel it right now you better cancel it and cancel it and say what you really want because once you open your mouth and you create it and you say that that's what you want, it will happen by any means necessary. So, we're just letting you guys hang out with us for a second. We're just letting you guys, this is our real life moment. And, you know, <laughs> it's just true behind the scenes. There's no fluffy entertainment. There's no, we don't have the TV on. We don't watch TV. Like, 
this is this is it. Summer Lily is over there asleep. Hubby's looking at flights. I'm eating my cookies. <laughs> you know, this is really what our life is like. You know, we get on and we share the cutesy cutesy, but I can really appreciate YouTube being a platform where we can just share our unapologetic truth. Life isn't perfect and it's not perfect for anybody. And we go through things just like everybody else goes through things. And we just breathe through it. Am I not shaking? I'm excited. We about to cop these flights. We about to cop these tickets. It's like it's like you'll just get pushed out of a situation. Like you get thrusted. How about that? Yeah. You really get thrusted. Like whew. and there's bugs in here. What you mean? What do you mean? It was a fly. This is interesting. This is really exciting. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. You really just have you really just have to build your spiritual muscles to be prepared prepared to exude the energy necessary to keep up with a fearless lifestyle. And what I mean by that is, like, <laughs> saint for the lazy. It is not for the lazy, because it's like, the moment you're like, ah, oh, I can rest. It's like, what's next? Where am I being thrusted to next? I appreciate the thrust, though. I appreciate the thrust because... It's like, like I was saying, we could easily just be comfy. Like, we could easily just be like, oh, you know, like, we want to make that move. But, like, it's so chill here. It's so, like, no. When your spirit is ready to go, it will just. I'm ready to go. It's like fearless life. It's like buy, pl buy plane tickets. And then it's like, well, where are we staying? It doesn't even matter. Wherever we are, whatever place that we are supposed to be is where we're going to be led to. Yeah, you don't have to settle. Like, you literally don't have to settle. Like, being here would be settling. Being here would be settling. And I think that's why we could say that there's so many pros and cons with hotel living. But the biggest con is the lack of cleanliness. And I'm tired of it. It's like, it's like, it's a constant game. Like every city it's like, okay, you got to start from scratch. Like you got to figure out, okay, in this price point, what is it about to be looking like? And back when we were in Miami and we made our, our video saying it's, it's actually titled we're done with hotel living. Like I had a total meltdown. I was like, I'm done with this. And it was because every city is different in Miami. It was like, nothing made sense. Nothing was making sense. It's like, in some cities, the price that you have to pay just for cleanliness, like, it's like you don't really get everything that you want. It's like you get, you just don't get everything that you want. Like, you'll get the cleanliness, but you won't get the security. Like, it really, it, it's not even based on price. Like, we talk about how the fact that the hotel we were staying at in D.C. was 70 bucks, and it had more security than any hotel that we've ever stayed at. That's on the bottom. Uh, uh, that's funny. They had the real uh, top class security, correct? Right. So it's like, you know, you can't just shop by 
by price. You can't just shop by price. You really have to have a list of things that you look for with your accommodations and you really have to scope through and see. And that's why I can say like, you know, it's easy to just be like, oh, we'll just stay here because it can be kind of ex exhausting looking for new accommodations. This time around, it's not. This time around, I'm really excited to just find where we're going to be in LA. I'm going to check out some Airbnbs too, though. Airbnb just never really makes sense because by the time they add like their cleaning fees and all of their fees, it's like you're paying two times the amount. And it's like, I could have just been in a hotel. I'm, I'm definitely believing that we're going to be divinely led to the correct, the perfect place for us. And all is going to flow in our favor. Oh, are you checking out some other stuff? Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for the documentation. I'm, I'm grateful that we're actually really documenting this journey. And it's not just pictures. I'm glad that we're documenting this journey on video because if it was just pictures, we would just have memories of us smiling at the pool and it, no, we have to capture the whole situation. I get to document how I feel in this moment. And in this moment, hmm. how do you feel in this moment? Um, I feel okay. How do you feel? I feel great. I think I'm trying to pinpoint the feeling. It's not nervousness by any means. I think there's a certain vibration that just has to be shaken off after having encounters like we just did. Because, you know, and I think when I'm trying to just figure out, like, why does my body feel, that's why you just, that's why protecting your energy it has to take place at a high level. Like, that's why I just be like, forget it. I just can't even have those encounters because it's like, I can't afford to spend an hour, two hours trying to reset my energy and reset my vibrational frequency. I can't even let it, I can't. I can't even let someone get me there because then in, instead of exuding my time and my energy doing productive things or doing things that serve me, I'm spending time resetting and shaking off that shaky pop off. I'm about the dog you feel. <laughs> I'm about the dog her. I was about the dog her little ass. Like, I'm just kidding. I'm really just being silly. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys have caught on to my humor yet, but I wasn't about to dog nobody. I do not fight in the spirit, in, in the physical. I don't fight. Anyway, yeah, that was whack. That was a wiggity, wiggity whack. But I can get excited about the push to really find our, our, our spot really do some research we have a couple of days to figure it out definitely will not be rebooking here really random, like... it's like we're being pushed out it's like we're being pushed out of here that's what i mean by you'll be thrusted because we tried to stay low we tried to hold we tried to just stay put real quick i think any parent Bumped. I think any death could resonate with where I was when I just went to the door and I didn't know who was coming to the door. I forgot that happened. Um, and there's a certain benefit of the doubt that you normally would give people that I don't anymore. You're going to have to... Fucking pay attention. You're going to pay a little more attention. It's pay 10, attention. It's 10 at night and it's like... Just because we're awake don't mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, we would have been asleep. She clearly sleep. And you would have been trying to get in my door. And if I was asleep, but it's cool. You grow. You learn. You grow. It's like it was certainly an accident. But it's like my my patience for you people not for containers. So fuck you. Yeah, that's the thing. Bitch. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. You it's just the fact that people don't communicate. Stuff. It's just the fact that it's just like, okay, you just tried to come in my hotel room and then we open the door and you just stand in there doing ghetto shit with your ghetto friends. Slam the door, boo, boo, boo. 
Oh, Sir, this nigga right here. <laughs> Send meds. So it's too hard to get gas here. Take me to LA. Just take me to LA. And drop your plug in the comments. <laughs> it's like, what could cause this level of irritation and frustration? It's just a pile up. It's just a pile up. Like, I was not kidding when I told the guy on the phone that the bathroom is dirty. Like, it's just a certain standard. It's just a certain standard that shouldn't be acceptable. Like, it's Hilton stickers all over the place saying that your room was cleaned impeccably. Like, uh, 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 I, I, I could really, I could really take it there. I could... They didn't piss me off. <sighs> Fuck it, I'm, just, I'm about to just put them on blast. They sh their shit should not be this dirty. So you've got Hilton Clean Stay with Lysol protection cleaned and disinfected for your comfort but it's dirty as fuck let's see it's just dirty as fuck what is that huh you know like i could really take it there like i'm not trying to be trifling and i'm not trying to disgust anybody but it's like there's just a certain standard of cleanliness that's not being met it's like, why are, what the, that's not my hair. That's not my hair. How long has that been there? So if you get on these videos and you're like, why the hell are y'all so mad? You know what I'm saying? What the hell? Do you see what I'm saying? So you're telling me that there's extra cleaning and disinfection of top areas in your guest room. Let's inspect all of these places because I got time. And you know, since Hilton doesn't respond to any of my complaints, even when I call the diamond line, I'll just put them on blast on the internet because I have time. So the lights, lamps, and switches and electronic controls. Got it. Oh, really? So that's why all of the outlets are absolutely disgusting. I have time to be entertaining right now. I have time. I have time to be really entertaining. Oh, I guess that's not bright enough. All around their stanky ass little <laughs> light switches. Y'all cleaned impeccable. Y'all cleaned impeccably, but when we checked in, it was some Cheetos on the, on the couch. Don't mind me. I'm just doing intentional breathing as I'm kirking. That's all. Let's see what else. The handles and the knobs. Major bathroom surfaces. Oh, that's why there's somebody else's hair all in my stuff. Uh. Tables, desks, and nightstands. Got it. That's why it's layers of dust under here that looks like they've never cleaned in here. That's why. You're lucky the light's not shining on it. I could be really trifling. <sighs> why did y'all give me this? Why, why do I have this much time on my hands? I've got time. I just looked him out for a second time today. Dare I? Oh, shit. <laughs> what are you about to do? When I do this, y'all are going to be like, I wasn't feeling you kirking at first, but now I do.
I am just showing how dirty it is. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. When was the last time you guys dusted? Oh, you don't dust. Oh, you don't? <laughs> oh, you don't. Got it. So, that's why we're just tired of hotel living. It's like and all the shit that people get and see that people see when they check into their shit and they be like, oh, I'm not about to say nothing. And then no one said nothing. Hotel living is like checking in, knowing that the corners are dirty, and just being like, nope. I'm just not gonna look. I'm just not gonna look in the places that I don't wanna look. This whole little thing, this whole little thing, you can't you can't see anything obviously, but when the sun is shining, you can see how much dust is on there. Yeah. Well, I mean, more than anything, it brings light to like how fake it is in the world from a cleanliness standpoint. Like, it's in whole whatever they want to call it a thing that's going on in the world. And like, y'all are just showing more and more that like, it's just dirty fake. and fake. fake. Being in living living in hotels during this time. Mm, that'll make you think my hotels on the regular. They wasn't on shit. Living in hotels during this time gives a whole entire perspective of what's taking place. Because most people encountered this this pandemic from home. And may and, and learned about what's taking place in the world from TV. We've been on the flights. We've been on the flights. We've been in the rooms. We've been on the. We've been in the Ubers. We've been on the buses. <laughs> you name it, we've been it, and ain't nothing clean about any of it. So, I don't know. You know, little old me just being extra. But I'm tired of it. So I think we about to get a half. I think. What? Is he going to be here? Again? And I was like, Again? okay. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna call you back. And then he was like, how much you got? And I was like, I'm trying to get a half. He was like, I told you last time I would do zips. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna call you back. Nigga, you call me because you trying to get that 220. What the fuck is you talking about? That's why you that's why you still keep calling back. What happened to the guy that's about to have a baby? I really don't want to give this guy our money. This shit closed. I'm going in the weed business. I'm going in the weed business because the people that sell weed don't sell weed. I mean, when I said it, you didn't really... I mean, I mean, but we about to be in LA, like... Yeah, no, no, niggas don't be... Niggas be acting like they... I don't know, I don't know. No, seriously, not even trying to be funny. Like, you're still doing business. Like, all businesses can be enhanced. Like, yeah, real talk. you act like you don't want to get any money. I would have a link in my bio. I would have a link in my bio that says, no sales. <laughs> you know, no sales. Like, That's how they be doing that shit. Y'all, like, if they'd be like, you gotta get a sticker. <laughs> Y'all, if you come to my IG bio and it says no sales. Ah uh, man, they would've been funny today. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm just fucking tired. I am. Actually, I'm not tired. I am so happy. Let's let's. That's I am it. so yeah. happy and grateful now that you want your own 100k a day or are we sharing 100k a day i need to get clear on the vision I'm sharing shit. that's why i said what's your what's your dream? oh okay okay so that. i am so happy and grateful now that i make a hundred thousand dollars a day <laughs> shoot hubby said he's not sharing his 100k a day with me so 
I'm so happy and grateful now that I make a hundred thousand dollars a day I'm so happy and grateful now you know it's it's time I tell you guys all the time get clear on it what it is you desire it's a new season it's time for me to get even more clear on what I desire because your desires change and that's okay that's why there's a new page in the notebook so join yeah, me. Of course I'm sharing with you. I'm just teasing you, baby. You know what I mean. No, I'm just teasing you, but I do want to get clear, and I do want us to each have our own goals. So so my goal is 100K a day. This nigga just flex talking about all week. He ain't texting me. I'm just, I'm just hyping it. I forgot about that. I'm going to come back and talk about I'm our excited. goals and all of that. <laughs> How long you been on this set? They're just vibing with us. Y'all want me to no, get I'm off? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I said, I just looked at my wrist. I got time today. Fuck it, I'm crossing the line today. What's next? Uh, bitch, you crying and why they fake. <laughs> no, but seriously. Okay, 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 okay. So he said, so, you know, customer service, man. Customer service, he had the nerve to say, I told you. It's a couple of things. It's a couple of phrases that'll make me. <laughs> it's a couple of phrases that you can say to me that's gonna make me. I'm sorry. What? What? What, what was that? You said you told. You, you said you told. You said you told me. Okay, but for real, for real, I'm just being really silly. So he said, "I told you last time. If you if do you, not tell him to pull up here, please." What time are you coming? And I'm about, what to, time is he I'm about to get again? into that. I don't have a time. He said, just make sure you get that same spot as last time. I said, oh, this, I said, oh, this no, nigga no, is a trigger in his, in, in, in his own. I said, oh, <laughs> nigga is the trigger. This fly is triggering me right now. No, he did not. Okay, so you said. Well, shout this. out to 4,500 subscribers. Appreciate y'all. Hey, I feel like we just hit. Somebody we just hit 4K. Me. Yeah. Shout out to 4,500. I said, all right. I told you last time. Nigga. I'm not from around here, but it's like, no, let me stop. Let me stop. Can I read it myself? No, there, there's no text message. I was, that, I was on the phone when you went in the bathroom. <clears throat> I... You know what? Let's just do this live. <laughs> what is today's date? I wrote it on my last page. We're going to write some goals. 5-2-21. I am so happy and grateful now that I own my own cannabis farm in LA who's gonna be here when this comes into fruition drop a heart or something in the comments if you're gonna be here when I've got a cannabis farm I'm so happy and grateful now underline the right now that I own my own cannabis farm in LA I am so happy Let's shift the energy. This is how we shift the energy. I'm done complaining. Dang, I really put them on blast. I can't wait to watch this video. I'm going to crack up. I'll watch it after we spark. Maybe it'll be funny then. I'm so happy and grateful now that I put the cannabis farm before the 100K a day. That's how you know that I'm a stoner. I'm a stoner. I'm a stoner. Jerome, I'm writing you down on my paper with today's date saying that you're going to be here when we have our cannabis farm. <laughs> Um, I'm so happy and grateful now that I am earning $100,000 a day. I would say with all, with all income streams. And I'm going to do the work. I'm going to do the work that I teach everybody to do. I have to break down that 100 k So let me write out all of my income streams. Oh, they're like in my notes somewhere. So how much of that do I want to be trading? You guys should write your goals with me tonight. 
So trading. Oh, that's just bad. Oh, never mind. Um, oh, no, that's just bad. What? So my man's I connected with on YouTube. His man's just texted me. So it look, he might have set it up for me. Trap, so you need to just, hey, get a trap. Get a trap. Shout out to our YouTube to subscriber that came through with the plug. Okay. Honestly, I don't even know all my streams off the top of my head. There's Shorby. There's Gumroad. I'm going to get clear on this. I'm going to get clear on this, you guys. Because if I'm manifesting 100K a day, I need to know what I'm going to do to make 100K a day. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. But I'm getting clear on my goals tonight. I'm getting clear on my goals tonight, considering the fact that we're going to be hopping on a plane and going to LA any moment now. And I cannot touch down in LA without being clear on our on our goals. So tonight, tonight, let me tell you guys what my night consists of. It consists of getting clear on my goals, looking into our accommodations for LA. Um... I'm going to do some hardcore, like, I'm going to take some time to meditate. And when I say meditate, I mean, let God speak. Just let, just. Yeah, I'm going to definitely just soak into some meditation, get deep into some gratitude. And I am going to spend... I'm gonna hypnotize the hell out of myself tonight. While summer is sleep, I'm about to really honestly dig into some severe hypnosis. I'm gonna dig into some severe fearlessness hypnosis so that I can be equipped for this journey. And I'm gonna get into some, what other hypnosis? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what do you want to sleep to tonight? You want to sleep to some money manifesting affirmations or something else? I definitely need to spend some time being an intentional listening to some money affirmations. Yeah, um, I got some work to yeah, do Yeah, some money affirmations. We're going to listen to the Neville Goddard audio that we got from that video. And the audio is called The Power of Awareness. That's good. Well, Let's if you guys it. want to join us in this work, I encourage it. Yeah, we're we gonna go be to sleep to this jump. We're gonna be studying and meditating Neville Goddard, the power of awareness. Thank y'all for joining me with the hee hee ha ha. Um, you know, we like to be fun, we like to be entertaining. This is our real life, like no cap, can't make Man's this up. Official. He sent the <laughs> can't make this up, you guys. Like you you see us basically make light out of so the random weird. stuff that we deal with in our life, but I'm about to get to work. I am about to get to work and really up the personal development, drown in the personal development. I'm ready to change. I'm ready to change. I'm ready to grow. I acknowledge and understand that the person that I am today looking at you is not going to earn 100K a day. So what does that mean? I have to change instantly. I have to change immediately. And I need to become that person that earns $100,000 a day. With that being said, I've got a lot of work to do. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm excited, mama. Yeah. Shut up the trap. No kiss. <laughs> And I'm gonna get high. Shout out to Trap. Oh, what's that? I'm about to I'm about to text him back, but shout out to Trap. <laughs> Happy birthday to his girl. Happy like, birthday, a Happy this birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. And it's like, why am I shouting it out from that standpoint? Because that's somebody who connected with us on this app. Off of just saying we about to be in Orlando. So I appreciate that, brother. You know, <laughs> and uh hopefully we get the opportunity to actually connect in person while we out here. I we love really, this app, Mo. We this app. Yeah. We really love connecting. We really love oh oh let me write. I'm so happy. Hold on. Before I forget, I am so Yeah, I like connecting with cool people. Happy and grateful. For my new 5D 
vibrating friends. Excuse me, do you feel the need to explain 5G? Or they just gonna have to go back and watch? Okay, I will, I will end this video sharing exactly what 5G is. So the world altogether is increasing its overall vibrational consciousness from 3D to 5D collectively. Individually, we all have our own ascension journeys and 3D is where most of society resides. 3D is where it's controlled by ego, comparison, cause and effect, meaning this happened because this happened. And then you gain awareness of what's really taking place in the spiritual realm. And, you know, you're aware that there's more going on out there. You're aware that something ain't right. <laughs> something ain't right with the 3D stuff. And then you kind of enter into 4D. You're curious. You start doing research. You start um, resonating with just higher vibration information. You start doing some research. And then 5D is where you know there's no judgment there's no cause and effect there's no comparison there's no it's you're not operating from a place of ego you're operating from a place of unity and oneness so when we talk about the fact that we beat ourselves up about our experiences we i beat myself up about those experiences because to me i'm like i'm not this is not a 5d encounter like me us going back and forth like that's not 5d that's not operating from the place of we are one we are the same this is a very interesting conversation because it's like when you raise your consciousness to be in 5d you're you're dealing with people that are not so you it's like you have your your try your efforts are to love them for where they are and it's really just namaste. I see the God in you. I recognize the God in you. And the thing about that, <laughs> the thing about that is we, we, we always come back to this place of the way that you deal with those people is because you basically are like, you know, you have grace. You have grace for everyone. You have grace for the people that haven't left the third dimension yet because it's just, you're about to go to sleep. <laughs> My man is on the one for some dino cookies. If I hop back on, on later after some dino cookies sure, and I'm man. like really calm and zen. Big shout out to Trap. He had the review and all that. So he hit me after he after he hit the, the one five that he was like, it's not even gonna make sense to uh slice it. He said, to be honest, he just gave me a no. <laughs> I was like, oh, this shit probably not even about to be here for now. So um he said he got some gas though. I just didn't like how it smelled, but it's breaking down the nug. I'm breaking down the nugget. and it's pretty sticky. I'm about to try it and I'll let you know how I smoke. He said, bet that at 923. He hit me at 945, said smoking. I'm ready to take a nap. My mother, so I'm ready to take a nap myself. You hear me? So that's some indie. Oh, some, oh, some, uh, some I need indica. to go to the quiet zone. Okay, when I gave you my list of things that we're going to be doing, we're going to the quiet zone. So this hotel, I'm not saying its name anymore. I'll, I'll get back to the 5D. No free clout. No free clout. This hotel happens to be a certified autism center, so it has like quiet mm -hmm. zones. Baby, I done said it like three times. What, cookie breath? No. Oh. I mean, I didn't really get a real whiff, but. Oh, so are you saying? I mean, you said a lot of things, but the biggest thing that stuck, <laughs> hold on. The biggest thing that stuck was that this the biggest double tree. Oh, so you weren't really hip to the fact that all those times I said the quiet zone, this is a certified autism center, you weren't hip? I was, okay, I, I was hip to the autism joint off the strength of the quiet zone image and like the colors around the image. Oh, but you didn't see the little thing that said certified autism nah, center? Well, I just seen that you could spark right there. <laughs> So like for me, I'm like quiet zone, boom, you come spark right there and it's quiet. <laughs> but whole time, they probably just moved those uh, ashing things right there because it turned into the smoker section. This is why we love business. I want to just correct everybody's business. Why the hell do you have smoking sections inside of the autism center quiet zones? It serves me. 
but it doesn't serve like that doesn't serve the purpose of like a literal this is an all certified autism center and you've got quiet zones but it's it doubles as the smoker section but watch this though and here, here's what i'm saying that maybe but no nah, the, the 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 um property hop off where my phone died in a second right the property had to put it there because they're so random the whole the whole thing is random. I don't even care about their stupid flaw systems. Flawed systems. Flawed systems. Flawed systems. All I know is sis is about to be outside at the quiet zone because honestly, I can really appreciate that. I can really appreciate quiet zones because I was like really triggered at the pool just now. Like I was trying oh, to, yeah. I was really trying it to just kick back. Ass. Yeah, I was really just trying to kick back and enjoy being outside, enjoying the fresh air. But like it was really really loud. Like it was like the splashing in the water everybody yelling and the music like the smells it was just a lot i was really triggered so i can appreciate the quiet zones but when i gave you guys my list of things that i'll be doing in addition to growing i will be sitting outside at the quiet zone smoking on some dino cookies dino za yeah, in 11 be, minutes he about to be here in 11 minutes <laughs> so here's here's what i got for that other nigga that tried to play big boy scene <laughs> you should have watched your mouth should have watched your damn you should have watched your fucking mouth telling me i, I told you i was you. ready to give you 220 for the half I'm and, about to put and this nigga about to give me a quarter for 60 just off the strength of trap i'm about to put 225 dollars in your pocket for something that i'm about to smoke tonight and you had the nerve to say what <sighs> anyway thank you for joining us <laughs> see you guys here next time i'm excited you know like i said we we be coming on here talking but like it just be real live experiences and for me um i know a lot of you guys might have seen me say that um i'm gonna be pursuing an acting career it's time to get some bread because it's giving funny and if it's not <laughs> it is <laughs> what are you talking about so it's time to get a check for it the you know real truth is we're going to L.A. to pursue our acting careers. Well, <laughs> the real truth is we're going to L.A. to pursue to pursue wifey's and my mentor. Because, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I can learn from Chanel as well. Um, so we're going from a mentorship pursuit. And the gas. And the gas. And? And, and you know to to really pursue this acting thing because i'm not going to downplay it because that's what i wrote down mm, we actually you better did. you better write you better mm, you better write down what you want that's what i wrote down at the mansion january one where other folks were trying to figure out rank goals <laughs> I said that my goal was to go viral. My goal was to have my own TV show. My goal was to become an actor amongst actors. And and this is good. You I'm going to close with this. We're gonna, gonna, gonna I got to close. Yeah, I, well, I'm going to close anyway because I'm going to go uh, scoop the, uh, what's the name? <laughs> Unless you're just going to stay on after. I'm going to close with this, though. It's very important that, you know, eat because i'm not even gonna talk up like like talk to your haters not like necessarily resonating let's talk to people that have influence on you that may not resonate you know because <clears throat> I, I i remember even saying that goal in a mentor mind at that particular time you know it it, it, it wasn't the exciting thing to say in that event because it my that goal wasn't in direct correlation with his goal his goal basically to put it simple Yikes. and it's like i can i can get on here and talk candid like that like when you when you have that realization yeah you know so 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 basically there was somebody who i had a lot of respect for who i looked at as a mentor at that particular time who didn't necessarily tell me not to do it, but he didn't necessarily say, go for it. And you're gonna have some people that you're really close to that you may love near and dear, that you may be friends with, y'all may think y'all friends or whatever the case may be. And um, 
you might be about to make a big decision. You might be about to do some real shit. You might, you know, have an idea, have something that you want to take advantage of. And they, and they may not say not to do it. But whatever it is that they said might be something that could knock you off your course. Mm -hmm. And I told y'all last, I'm a CL at the beach and at the bank for years now. And now you go see me on the tube. What do you design? Well, if you stayed this long, I need you guys to drop a goal. Drop a goal that, because we, we're about to do this together. I'm not playing. And Jerome, I told you, I wrote your name right here. I'm not playing. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious about growing together. So as I'm getting clear on my goals, drop a goal that you want to see take place in the, nine, in, the, in the next 90 days. And I'm excited to celebrate you in 90 days once you once you hit your goal so i know this was a really really long video i've been on here talking but um all in all the, i think the purpose of this video was really just kind of sharing some more behind the scenes of hotel living sharing our real life growth journey and um yeah that's about it so thanks for hanging out with us you guys and